our age shows us that we have to benefit from all the possibilities of technology. The defense industry is one of the areas most affected by technological developments. The main reason for this priority is actually due to the security concerns of states, but this does not change the reality. There are multiple power centers in the world. Iran stands out as an effective and stable power in its region. Even if its relations with the Western world are problematic, everyone agrees that Iran is a regional power. Iran has a strong religious and political influence on other countries in its region. Iran uses this regional power in line with its own interests. Today, we will tell you about a technology that has made a name for itself in recent years. Are you ready? If you are ready, here we go. Iran's war technology has reached a self-sufficient level. In recent years, there have been negotiations with the United States to limit the use of nuclear weapons. However, these negotiations seem to have lost their validity today. Iran is not a foreign dependent country in the arms and defense industry. It is able to produce its own weapons and therefore, even if it is subjected to sanctions, it can somehow catch up with the developments in arms technology. Not only that, it also sells arms to other countries. We have often witnessed the use of Iranian-made drones in Russia's invasion attempt against Ukraine. With the kamikaze drones, it exports to Russia. Iran not only supports its ally, but also shows the world its weapons technology. It is not possible to get very detailed information about the Iranian army, but in general terms, the Iranian army has a relatively strong structure. Basically, there are two branches of armed forces in Iran. The first of these is the Iranian army, while the second is the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps. Iran's military needs are met by these two armies. According to the stated job descriptions, the Iranian army is one of the two main branches of the armed forces, together with the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, and is tasked with protecting the territorial integrity of the Iranian state from external and internal threats and projecting power. The Kamikaze unmanned aerial vehicles, which are the subject of our article today, have recently had a significant impact on the literature of warfare. Every day, a new conflict zone emerges around the world. Conflicts that have been going on for years, especially in difficult geographies, are still ongoing. The Middle East is at the center of these conflicts. The most important feedback on weapon technology comes from the battlefields. A new weapon can become more functional after it is used and tested on the battlefield. For this reason, states look favorably on the use of the weapons they produce in active conflicts. As a result of feedback from military personnel in the field, weapons can be improved. Kamikaze drones, also known as mobile munitions, are aerial vehicles developed to hit target elements after hovering in a certain area for a while. After detecting their target, kamikaze drones carry out a suicide dive attack towards the target. Thanks to its ability to move in swarms, mission cancellation, low cost structure and various types of warheads usually located in the head, it is an ammunition that has become widely used in recent times in battlefields against expensive enemy targets, such as air defense systems. Although the exact dates of its first emergence are not known, various sources indicate that countries such as the United States, Iran and Israel first introduced this technology in the 1980s. The main purpose of these air vehicles, which were subjected to many successful and unsuccessful trials during their initial development, was low cost and suppression of enemy air defenses. These munitions, which have been used extensively in recent years, especially in the Second Nagorno-Karabakh War and the Ukraine-Russia War, serve as game changers in theaters of operation. At the beginning of the Ukraine-Russia War, 
the Ukrainian army used Israeli Harrop ammunition extensively, while the Russian side actively used shaded 136 kamikaze drones supplied by Iran. On October 17, 2022, Ukrainian state sources reported that shaded 136 ammunition was used in the Russian attack on Kiev. Now let's get to know Iran's famous drone a little more closely. The technical specifications of the Shahed-136 Kamikaze UAV, which was produced by Iran Aircraft Manufacturing Industries, HESA, and exported in large numbers to the Russian Armed Forces, had come to the agenda many times, but no statement was made by the Iranian authorities on the subject. In the following process, an infographic indicating its features was shared. The technical specifications of the Shahed-136 Kamikaze UAV, which was produced by Iran Aircraft Manufacturing Industries, HASA, and exported in large numbers to the Russian Armed Forces, had come to the agenda many times, but no statement was made by the Iranian authorities on the subject. In the following process, an infographic indicating its features was shared. According to the infographic, Shahed-136 has a range of 2500 km, 50 kilo warhead, CRPA GNSS navigation system and low IRRF signature. The Shahed-136 UAV, which Russia produces under license under the name Duran, has a delta wing fuselage design similar to the Harpy UAV produced by Israel Aerospace Industries IAI equipped with advanced navigation systems and a long operational range the shahed 136 uav is capable of penetrating deep into enemy lines and effectively striking strategic points designed to remotely attack ground targets it is typically fired in multiples from a launch rack thanks to the portability of the uav and launch frame the entire unit can be mounted on the back of any military or commercial truck Launched at a slight upward angle, the UAV is assisted in its initial flight by a rocket launch assistant, RATO. After the rocket launch, the UAV's engine is engaged, which is a conventional Iranian-made MADO MD-550 four-cylinder piston engine, possibly reverse-engineered from the German Limbeck L550E model, used in other Iranian UAVs, such as the Ababil 3. An examination of the Shahed-136 drones captured during the Russian invasion of Ukraine in 2022 revealed that some of their electronics were manufactured with foreign-made components. These components include Texas Instruments, TMS-320 processor, a fuel pump manufactured in Poland for the UK-based TI fluid systems, and a voltage converter imported from China. The Shaded-136 drone has a delta wing shape with a central fuselage that integrates with the wings and stabilizing rudders at the tips. The nose is equipped with a warhead weighing 30 to 50 kilograms. The engine is located behind the fuselage and controls a two blade pusher propeller. The UAV is reportedly 3.5 meters long with a wingspan of 2.5 meters, can fly at a speed of 185 kilometers per hour and weighs approximately 200 kilograms. Its range is estimated to vary between 970 km and 2500 km. In addition to their prominent features, Iranian unmanned aerial vehicles also have some disadvantages. The large, slow and noisy nature of the Shahed 136 UAV limits its effectiveness against military targets. For this reason, some analyses suggest that this drone is specifically designed to target civilian infrastructure. Moreover, Due to its dependence on a satellite navigation system that is susceptible to interference, these UAVs are highly likely to be lost. Poor performance in cold climatic conditions has led the Russian military to avoid using these drones in cold regions. This limits the operational use of the Shahid-136 to regions with warm or mild climatic conditions. These limitations are among the important factors affecting the strategic use of the UAV. Today, we introduce the Shahed-136, one of Iran's most prominent unmanned aerial vehicles. In our next video, we will continue to introduce a different technology. What do you think about Iran's military power? Do you think Iran stands out as an effective power in its region? 
What do you think about Shahed-136 Kamikaze drones? We care about your opinion. Please share it with us.